Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about and share about Adobe Illustrator. I wanna show you guys how to use Adobe Illustrator if you're a beginner. Um, if you guys don't know this about me, I didn't get any formal training in design. So I am self-taught artist and designer. And yeah, when I first opened up Adobe Illustrator, it was extremely overwhelming. I, but honestly, like, because I'm such a nerd when it comes to like learning new software, I was in it every day for hours, tinkering with the different buttons, with the different tools, failing, learning how to use certain things and discovering certain things as well. So it's been a really fun tool to use and as an artist and designer. So I highly recommend jumping into this tool, especially if you are going to be learning design or if you're going to be doing illustration work. This is pretty much an industry standard um, tool when it comes to creating content, art, designs, things like that. So I'll show you guys in this video, I'll keep it under 10 minutes, how to use the essential tools in Illustrator and how to start creating in Illustrator. Okay, so when you first open up Adobe Illustrator, this is the first thing you're going to see. You're going to see new features at the top, how-tos. These are just suggestions that Illustrator is welcoming you with. And then we have our recent files down here. We also have the learn section where you can learn step-by-step -step instructions on how to do certain things within the application, which is really cool. We have your files as well. This is where all of my cloud files are. The really cool thing about the Creative Cloud plans is that they sync up my designs. So if I have a design on Fresco, it appears in Adobe Illustrator. If I have a design in Adobe Illustrator on my iPad, I can open it up on my desktop. So that is honestly a game changer whenever you are designing or illustrating because as a designer or illustrator, and you may already know this, you're jumping from tablet to desktop to desktop to tablet, unless you have a Wacom or Wacom. I forgot how you say it. Um, and then we have the shared with you. So these are just files that are shared with you and then deleted files. So to create a new file, you just have to click on new file here. To open up other Adobe Illustrator files you've saved, you can open them up by clicking on open. But we're just gonna create a new file here. So these are the settings I'm setting up for my canvas. I can rename my document as let's say YouTube video. I'm doing a 1080, 1080 by 1350. You can also adjust the units that you wanna use for measurement. You can select the orientation, landscape or portrait, select the amount of artboards, maybe add a bleed to your design. And then there's other advanced options like color mode, raster effects, and preview mode. I kind of just like to leave these as the default and then I'll click on create. So when you first open up Adobe Illustrator, the what's front and center is your artboard that you just set up. So this is my 1080 by 1350 artboard. At the very top here, we have our application bar. Right beneath it, this is our control panel. The control panel displays options for the current selected tool. So right now what we have selected is the direct selection tool. And then right beneath that is our document window. If you have multiple documents opened up in Adobe Illustrator, you'll see them tabbed up here. On the left side, we have our tools panel. So think of the tools panel as the tools that are used to create and manipulate artwork, kind of like your own little toolbox. And on the right side, we have our properties panel. These are going to be different properties for different things. So we have a gradient, a paragraph, we have um, we have a character panel. The property panels just offer further ways to modify your artwork um, and adjust the settings as well. So to start off, working in Illustrator, you usually have to kind of move around the screen. Some of the most important tools are going to be the handful and the zoom tool, which you can find here. You can also press H hand this is where you can grab whatever's on the screen your artboard and move the screen around you also have zoom or z on your computer you can zoom in and out of your design whatever you have on this screen so this is the way you're going to be moving around your artboard okay so one of the most basic tools that you'll find in adobe illustrator is creating shapes this is going to be one of the most used tools i would say for a lot of people is the shape tool so if you go to the left side the tools panel over here we have our shapes tools here. We have a rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare. If I select a rectangle, which is also M on the keyboard, I can create a, a square. Um, if I hold down shift, I can maintain the proportions. If I don't, you know, I can make a rectangle, make all the proportions off. Um, and then if I want to change the color of my designs, I can go down to the left side. Here are my colors. I can select the fill and the stroke. So the one on the left is the fill and the one underneath it is the stroke. 
So let's say I do like a yellow for the fill and the stroke I do, let's say a blue. And you can't really see it here, but I can increase the size of my stroke. So remember what how I said like this panel is going to make you make is going to give you more options for these tools. Well, up here we have our selection tool. It's going to allow us to increase the stroke of this square. Now you might notice when you have a shape with corners that these little dots appear. This is how you can make a corner into a rounded edge. So I can drag on it and it'll make all of these corners rounded. Now, one of my cool tips for using this tool is if you click on the downward button on your keyboard, it'll change the way that this curve is appearing. So it can be inverted, a round one, or a straight line. So just by clicking on the down button on your keyboard. Now we can create other shapes like a rounded square. We can do a triangle or an ellipse. Let's change the colors here, maybe a blue or a pink on the inside. And for the outer, maybe a black. Now we have our shapes here. And again, feel free to play around with it, but these are all the tools that you can use. You can also create a star shape. So the cool thing about the star tool is this is a new updated feature in Adobe Illustrator. You can increase the amount of points that your star has. You can make the points go really inwards or bring them outwards. You can also curve these edges as well. This is a really cool tool. This is one of my favorite tools, the star tool. Just because they made this update, it just makes it really easy to create stars. So another important tool that you'll have to use in Adobe Illustrator is the selection tool. It's this one that I have selected right here. It's at the very top. You can use the select tool to select, move, resize, or rotate, or even move entire objects or groups of objects. So you can see here, I can drag my cursor across by holding down and I can select all of these and then move them around. I can also just select three and move them around. Now, let's say I want to make a copy of one of my designs. You can use your shortcuts on your keyboard, tap on the object or the shape with my direct selection tool and hold down alt and click on it and drag. So it'll create a duplication of that selected object. So we've kind of seen how to create shapes. If you want to do a circle, we can also do a circle as well or click on L on our keyboard. Here is a circle. Now, what if we wanted to combine shapes? What if I wanted to combine these two shapes into one shape. The thing about Adobe Illustrator is there's so many ways to do one thing. I'm going to show you guys some of the basic ways to just do it, but you'll soon just you'll soon discover that there's various ways to do one thing. What you can do to combine these shapes is you can actually go to your Pathfinder panel on the right side. And if you don't see it here, you can just go to Window and select Pathfinder and it should appear over here. I can combine my shapes so I can unite them all by selecting Unite on the Pathfinder. Now, another important selection tool is the Direct Selection tool, which is, di is directly under, it's directly under the Selection tool. So the Direct Selection tool essentially allows you to select and adjust anchor points and segments to reshape paths. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here on this shape here. And I will, with my Direct Selection tool, or you can click on A on your keyboard, I'll select the anchor point here. And I'm only selecting this one and I can pull it out and make it a curve. I can select this one here, pull it upwards here, maybe make this one a curve as well. Now, if I were to click on the selection tool or V on my keyboard, then it's selecting all of them. I cannot directly select an anchor point. I actually have to go to the direct selection tool and grab those anchor points if I want to. So this is how I can grab it individually. Now, another tool you might be using a lot, especially if you are a designer, is the type tool. If I want to add some type, let's go ahead and make like a you know fun little design. So I already went ahead and created my green background, but in order to use the type tool, I have to select the type tool on the left side, and then I could tap to start typing, or I can tap and drag to create a square that contains my type. So I went ahead and added some texting. Hello, good morning. I'm also using my brand new font, Relevo, in case you guys are interested in that. I'll add a link in the description. And then I'll just add a little happy face. But the last portion I want to show you is how to type on a path. I actually want to add text around the circle. So by clicking on L on my keyboard, I'll create a new ellipse around my happy face. And I'll make sure that it's an outline and not a fill. 
Now with the stroke, I'll just ma match it up with my happy face. And then once it's m matched up, I'll go to my type on path tool on the left side of my panel and I'll tap on that line. It'll automatically add some text. I'll just go in, reduce the size of the text and add some of my own writing to it. Okay guys, I'm just gonna jump in here because I'm gonna wrap this up because I promise this would be under 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this little demonstration of how to use Adobe Illustrator as a beginner. I hope it was helpful just showing you guys the basic tools, basic essential tools for creating an illustrator. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment below or subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.